have that thing. Works well. I can't wait for the tomahawk. Yeah. Have you tried the tomahawk yet? Uh, not yet, but I backed it, so I should be hopefully getting it soon. Coming? <laughs> yeah, it's coming. Yeah. You have to see this. You have to hold it in person. Oh, yeah. It's not living up to everything. Yep. Oh, nice. Yep. This feels like a real tool. <laughs> Absolutely. Wow. Can't wait for it. Yep. So these are the first production samples we got off the line for it. So yeah, definitely uh, progressing well. And, uh, nice. Along, uh, this is, okay, yeah. this is working. This isn't working. Yeah. Dude. Oh, yeah, this yeah, fully works. Check so it out, cool. check it out. Yeah. Live display on top of switch. Yeah. Uh, analog mode is kind of cool so this one has both the digital display and it has the analog one on it so this the virtual one moves with this and of course digitally it'll display the measurement on it um the blades go in metric english whatever but the screen itself can also rotate between the right. that you want yeah as well on it and when you want to capture a measurement rather than have to write it down i hit the save button and it just starts populating a side mounted e-paper display on it so this you know very high contrast but just continues to populate the measurement list on it without having to write anything down with it along with synchronizing my phone so i can have be up on a ladder that will go from device to phone on Bluetooth and then someone can be on the other side of the job site and have a list of all the measurements on it without having to worry about writing anything down and then to make it a little easier for alignment rather than have to take out my pencil or say I'm trying to do a measurement like this I can use my laser to align it off the top of it so it has a laser line extension to make it a little easier to pick up reference surfaces and not have to do weird things like pick up the back of it as well um, I can do internal measurements, so rather than have to do the normal method of, say, I'm trying to measure yeah. in between these two, that normally with a tape measure, I'd have to, you know, stuff it down in the corner. With the T1, since it's all digital, I can just go to the quick action menu and measure from the back. And now, in addition to the length of tape measure that's extended here on it, I can just yeah. measure and take the width of the tape right. uh, body into it as well. So it makes it a little bit easier and more streamlined for that. Yes. And then the other cool one as well is that, say, I want to measure from the front surface like this and I don't want to have to keep pushing it back. Sometimes uh, even with the normal tape measure you hook on the other side and be like all right I'll just subtract the inch and a half with it but since it's all digital I can just take a relative measuring so let's get out of measure back and now instead of having to subtract one and nine sixteenths they can just go to relative and start measuring from zero there with it as well so it makes it a little bit easier to uh, pull off of it and again having everything digital you're not doing any math in your head and then the number of times we've all cut a piece of material and it'd be you know the inch and a half long like oh crap I forgot to subtract it with it makes it a lot more easier and streamlined with it. So. Nice. I'm telling you, kids these days are just going to be so spoiled. They're not going to know how to do yeah. math or have to do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Makes it makes it a lot easier. So yeah. 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 When it arrives, it'll be hopefully. It's going to save so much time. I can't wait. So how's the production yeah. on it right now? Good. So these are the first production samples, and really now it's just making sure it's durable enough to survive on a job site, right? Like yeah. when we test this, we're dropping it, we're making sure the way it's encoded is reading this bottom barcode pattern. So this is one of the. Uh, uh, things we developed for it of how do you accurately make sure that what's on yeah. here is always matching yeah. here and of course correlating to the right. distance so the back of it basically all these rows are read like barcodes and there's a little module in here in it that is this is also how if I you know step on the blade I'm obviously going to be pissed off that I have to throw away you know a $250 tape measure so rather than do that you can just replace the blade on it so these two screws pop out I remove this and put a new blade in so the blade is fully replaceable as part of the process as well yeah Somebody thought it through. We tried to, right? Yeah, again, yeah. <laughs> Certainly know that uh, we'll hear the feedback if we don't think of it beforehand, so try to think through all the possibilities as best we can with it. So. Yeah. Hey. Thanks for the walkthrough. Yeah. Right uh, 214 for pre order. The MSRP will probably be about 259 when we transition to something with the M1, Home Depot, Lowe's, Amazon. So after we've done the pre orders, probably in late May, we'll switch to just the normal sales channels for this as well. Right. Right. Thank you. Thank you very cool. much for Thank the you. demo. Yeah. Yeah.